Career Girls is connecting role models and girls around the world through our virtual camps. These inspirational camps feature industry-leading role models and are offered free of charge to girls of all backgrounds. Our environmental science camp focused on climate change, innovation for sustainable oceans, and advocacy. Would everybody like to just share one way you think each of you are impacting the environment? I impact the environment, well, positively by riding my bike places. I help like pick up trash around the school and sort out the bins. I want everyone to uh, put in the chat what you think about when you hear the term climate change and what comes into your mind about why it matters. Anything from driving a car to burning gas to create the electricity that we use to turn on our lights, all of this produces carbon dioxide and causing climate change. The way that fishes work, actually many animals work, is that warmer temperatures speeds up metabolism. So when you have a higher metabolism, you need more food. But the warmer water meant that the food that they typically relied upon was actually decreasing. And so they needed to eat more, there wasn't as much food. And so it resulted in like increased natural mortality of these fish. Oysters are really important because they're like little, I like to think of them as little Brita filters. They like, they remove pollutants and they clean our water. I do work on oysters and I think they're super important. Um, but the aspect that I work on is actually microbes. There are good things and bad things about these microbes. They play a really important role. For example, some of these microbes can break down oil and other pollutants that are in their environments. For advocacy, you need the passion, you need the knowledge. There's no substitute for just knowing your subject and that is what gives you respect. You can develop your own campaigns in your own community to be a part of the solution and get um, solutions to grow. You really have to know as much as you can about the issues. As we saw with the video, that sea level rise is going to happen. So how do we make sure that we protect ourselves from this rising sea level that we're going to have? You know, like if we have a lot of oysters, that could help with flooding some. The we should probably help with uh, this, the waters because they're kind of like a natural barrier. There's no action that's too little or too big that can make a difference. Take what you learn from here and put that into any type of action for creating the change that you want to see in your community. Thank you to all of our industry leaders and experts for volunteering their time. And thank you to the campers. We can't wait to see you change the world.